Rafael. Rafa, are you there? Hey, Gabby, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Um, I just finished my dinner. So I'm like uh, relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always after you eat dinner, it's like, ah, oh, I'm full, I'm good. Yeah. But uh, I, I feel like I got... Um, I don't know how to say it. I want to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> a little sleepy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like when you eat. And okay, ready. Mm -hmm. When when we're gone, we're going to finish. Uh, I'm asking before because I I received uh, an email today that we have to send the the documents. Yes, we finish on Thursday next week. Oh, Thursday next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we only have today and five more classes. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I, 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 when I received that, I said, oh, maybe this week we'll, we'll finish. <laughs> no, we finish next week, but the idea is to prepare everything um, because if not, it's too short a time for everybody to sign human resource to give the documents, uh, to present and things like that. Yeah, but, and also yesterday I received a WhatsApp uh, asking me if I was interested in, in continuing with the, with the classes and also if that I had to, to finish the, the work in the, in the platform, so, I was like, hey, I, I want to finish right now. <laughs> uh, 
but but I already completed the lesson four. Just hmm, just left the five, but I did it yesterday because I was afraid about losing the opportunity. Uh, okay, okay, that's good. That's good that you because I know that sometimes with your life and the activities, you don't have time sometimes to to do the platform every day, but it's good. The important is that you are now, now you are finished with unit four, right? Uh, no, I finished all because- Hey, even <laughs> better. That, that, that WhatsApp made me, made me afraid. <laughs> I was afraid. So okay, I, I, I was better. thinking because on Monday, I, I didn't assist to the class. And so I, I thought maybe it was the last class or or something and and i'm losing uh, <laughs> I, I, okay. I i miss that and that that's what i am asking no no problems that's good okay okay good all right maria how about you how are you doing fine thanks no oh, i am sick but but it's not not um Gravity, I don't know how to say, how do you say? Um, uh, because I told you that I, I am COVID suspicious, okay? I, I left my, my, I don't have, I don't, I can't smell and I can taste. Okay. okay. But you don't feel bad. What? Do you feel bad? No. 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 Now, Eric, you feel okay? Yes. Yes, I think. Okay. Good. Okay. I, about the platform, I I finished and I mm -hmm. I worked very hard in the discussions because I was. Uh, uh, Oh, I, I don't know to say retrasada. <laughs> ah, I was behind. Yes, but I finished um, only in, in, the, in the lesson 5.4. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have a question because in, in um, one sentence, one sentence, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, I changed, I mixed. But it's always bad. Okay. In in which one? Uh, Five point four. Five point four. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. So yesterday we finished the I get a job. Two, three. Let's take a look here at the idea for five point four. Okay, which one, Maria? Which is the the question? Uh, is number three? I think it it seems uh, could be an a mistake. And the in and what the did sentence? Okay, and okay, Maria. And what did you write? What did you put? Okay, um, I I wrote. I'm good at solving mm -hmm. other people's problems. Hmm. Maybe it's for the spelling, Maria. Okay. Uh, I have problems, sorry to interrupt, but I had the same problem. So I asked my boyfriend that, <laughs> that already done this level. And he told me that there was a mistake on the platform and problems should be with S at the end because it's talking about plural. But if you put problems, it will be wrong. You have to put just problem and you'll see that it will be okay. That okay. happened to me. Okay. Okay. Well, Thanks. Yes. Like sometimes it's, it's good that your boyfriend passed the level already. That was, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I just asked him if I don't have that 
uh, if I already tried and I don't get that right, so I ask him. And that happened with this. At the, at the first try, I had all, all of the sentences wrong because I didn't put the point at the end. Oh, uh, yes. So I was like, oh, it can be possible. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that that's, that it's okay, it's okay. I already uh, see the videos again and then I, I realized that it was a mistake. Okay, okay. <laughs> it happens, it happens. So remember Javier, no S, no S in problems. Okay, good. Anybody else have any questions? No, okay. All right, well, I'm glad everybody's working in the platform when we're advancing. We're gonna go ahead and continue for today then. Today's topic is gerunds. Do you remember what are gerunds? ING form. That's right, ING form. That's the idea of using the gerunds. So let's watch a little bit of this short video and learn a little bit more about gerunds and short answers. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. All right. So as we can see, we have a lot of things that are going on. First, we have our sentences. Our sentences are with ing. All of the verbs we have are, I like, I hate, I'm good at, but we use with ing, the gerund. Now, this means you use so if the two things are yes. You use neither if the two things are no. So, I like pupusas. If you like pupusas, you say, so do I. That means the two, you and me like pupusas. If you say, I don't like sushi, then we use neither. Neither means you and me do not like sushi. The two of us don't. So the idea is between the so, the two things yes, and the neither, the two things no. Is that okay? I have a question. I am, um, I like to know if there's a, like a, a polite way to say the idea. Or why, or what's the difference between saying, for example, I like travel or I like traveling? Well, I like travel, you, you can't use, uh, you have to use, I like traveling. It's not possible, the verb in base form. Oh. The same, okay, I hate. So mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. you use two verbs, um, two verbs together, you have to use gerund, uh, always no no you don't there's actually a list of when you use gerunds or when you use infinitive and it's not about the two it's about which verb you use depending on the verb some of them have to use gerund and some of them have to use infinitive usually the ones that have emotions for example here in the chart we have uh, love uh, like hate, enjoy, all of these are followed by gerunds, mm -hmm. okay? 
Mm. So it's, it has it doesn't have to do with all of them. It's a list. So it's about which word you use, and then that's the one that you have to create. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also had another question that was in in one of the answers. The girl said, "Gee, I'm not. Or I don't." Or, or something like that. G, wh uh, what it means? It's like geek or something? No, it's like ah uh, or oh. Mm. Or like okay. well. Okay. I never yeah. heard that, that word. It's only a sound. It's only a sound. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Okay. I, I was confused because of the writing G E E. Mm -hmm. I never saw that before. Yes, it's only for that, that expression to complete the, the structure there, not that it's actually a word. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. And for your question, oh, let me see. there is the link if you want to study the verb, the list, when we use gerunds and when we use infinitives. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll see it because I, I didn't know. Yes. It's... I didn't get the idea just with the, with the videos. Okay. So the, really the idea is that depend which word you use, for example, like is with an ing. Hate is with ing. Love is with ing. Okay. But okay. The expression don't mind. All of these are with ing. That's why... If you use these words, you need to use ing. And there's no verbs that uh, uh, where, I don't know how to formulate. It. Um, there's no verbs that can use with the two forms. Yes, it's infinitive. In the oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So in so the website, I can see uh, all of them or uh, no you see some of them only of them. A, yes only, <laughs> i think maybe only like 300 or 400 mm -hmm. oh oh yes that that's it <laughs> okay. exactly uh-huh so for example when you use the word want you can never use ing for example i want a cooking no i want to cook i want to study mm. So with wants, it's impossible to use the gerund. But with love, is correct. I love cooking. I love studying. I love... So it has to do with the word that you use, how you use it. Okay. It's a memory thing, like, like the uh, verbs, like irregular verbs. Yeah, it's a matter of practice. That's right. It's a practice. Okay. All right. And then remember, that's the first part. That's the gerund. The second part is the short responses. The short responses are for agreeing or disagreeing. That means that yes, it's okay with you or no, it's not okay. Let's watch the rest of the video and see what other information they give us. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry or I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. 
So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Those are some of the ones that are always followed by gerunds. So when you use admit or miss or keep, so you cannot say keep to go, right? You have to say keep going. You can't say keep to study. You have to say keep studying. That's what we mean. Depending on which verb is first, that is going to tell you to use a gerund. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not good at swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. So here, let me go back a little bit so we can see the list of all the ones. Neither plus auxiliary, neither do I. Okay. These are, this is a small list, like I mentioned. There are really, really hundreds and hundreds of words that you have to use in order to decide which one is the gerund or the infinitive, and all of them have different ones. Let's see. Do you know what all of those words mean? I just don't understand. There's no there, but um, I don't understand when they say, for example, uh, you can stand, you can't stand shitting on a, an exam. What is the meaning of stand in this context? Can't can stand is you, you don't support, you don't like. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so what are we going to do with our partners in this moment? We're going to practice. So it's in the WhatsApp group, or you can go ahead in the platform 5.3. In 5.3, we're going to practice first making sentences with all of these words. So how how is it going to be? As an example, I admit visiting my parents uh, is very nice, okay? Or I forget uh, closing the door or I forget locking my house in the morning, okay? So you're going to make sentences. For example, this is part A. This is going to be one partner and part B is going to be the other partner. So we're going to work together to complete. One sentence, one sentence, one sentence, one sentence. Then we're going to practice here, writing down our answers, using the words that are there in the gerunds, okay? We're going to put with ing form. So we have two activities. First, the sentences, right? And then 5.4, where we need to complete the exercises. Okay, teacher. Okay, any okay. questions? All right, let's do it.
Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Before we go, we want you to agree on the following statements. I love hiking. I'm not good at swimming. As always, respond on our discussion box. Hi everyone, we want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released, t and d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d 
at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Hey, Vanya. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. No, no problem. You can practice with Rafael. Okay, did you have any difficulties completing those? Teacher, what is Danny? Repeat, Mirna. What is Danny? What number that, Mirna? I think it's two. The number eight. I know the bird. Which is the, the least? 
The least teacher, the least yes. of verb. No. Deny? The verb's yeah. least. Okay. <laughs> I, I, the I verb's least. pronunciation. Really? The, the screenshot that you sent to, to the WhatsApp group. Let me see. Uh, I suppose deny. Ready to know about Jaren's and short response? Deny. Deny. Yes. I think it's, we want to make sure. Okay. Tonight, or then. What is that? Deny is always not followed accept. by gerunds. We will share them with. Okay. Is this word right here? Yes. Yes. It's to not accept. This is deny. Deny. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Any other words? Okay, then let's check to make sure that these were correct. All right, so I don't like. I don't like commuting by bus. Okay, good. All right, what's the next one? I'm not very good at learning foreign languages. Okay, I'm not very good at learning, right? ING. Okay, what about the next one? I'm good at solving other people's problems. Okay. I think this is the one way we don't put the yes, we only put the singular, right? Only problem, another people's problem. Okay. What? I hate working with, 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 with a group, with a group or, or a team. With a group or team. Or team. Okay. Teacher, I have a question with the with this sentence. Mm -hmm. It's not right to say um, in the in another order the last part a team or group. It's it's not right. Uh, it's just it doesn't sound right. It not that it's not right, but it's that it's not the normal way to say the things. Mm, okay. So then in the first try, I had that wrong then, then when I put them in the, in the other order, uh, they put that right. So I had the, the, the doubt if it was correct to say it. Yes, yes, we just have to be careful with what is the, the message you want to give, but yes, all with ING. Mm, but it, so if you said in the in the other order it's uh it's another meaning no it's the same so i hate and uh, and i don't remember what no. working okay. yes so i in, here it's going to be i hate working sorry i hate working with and then the company or the group with a group of team. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you can continue. I hate working with a group of team because they never do their job or whatever you think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's try number five. I, I can stand sitting alone in a no. meeting. In meeting. In, in a, a meeting. meeting. In a meeting. In a meeting. 
So I can be sitting. In a, in a long meeting. Okay. In a long meeting. In a long meeting. Okay. What about the next one, number six? Space. I'm interested in managing chairs. Better my time. More my time better. Managing my time better. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? I don't mind talking on a cell phone. Okay. All right. And the last one? I enjoy eating out lunch every day. Mm, almost. I enjoy. Eating. eating lunch eating. out every day. Eating out or no, eating okay. lunch. <laughs> I'm confused. Eating. eating out lunch every day. Eating out lunch every day. Mm, no, but we'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Eating lunch out. No. no. Okay. So. Here we have, all right, let's take a look at the answers and how we did. All right, so the first one, I don't like commuting by bus, it's correct, right? Number two, I'm not very good at learning foreign languages, okay? Three, I'm God at... Solving other people's God problems. God Problems. Okay, all right. Keep us problems. What about I, I am good at? What did you say I'm good at? Solving other Solving other people problems. Remember, problem, problem with no S for this for this platform, but the correct is with S. Mm -hmm. All right, number four. We say, I hate working mm -hmm. think with a group with a group. Okay. With a group or team. Okay. We have number five. I can't stand sitting on a long meeting. Okay. Good. This is you don't like. Number six. I'm interested in managing my time better. Yes. All right, number seven, I don't mind talking on the cell phone. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the last one, I enjoy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Eating. Lunch. Out. Look, maybe that'll help you. Okay. You see, all of them, all of them are wrong. What did... Remember the same thing that we talked about before. Sometimes all you need to do is put in that extra work, that extra point or that extra thing, okay? Mm -hmm. And here in this situation, what you have to do is write down the entire sentence, not only the answer, but the entire sentence, not correct, commuting by bus. The correct is I don't like, and then community by bus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. So why do we use the gerunds? Well, the gerunds really are to describe another action or to describe things that maybe you like to do or you like to see. Okay. Before we continue, any questions? Do you see some 
translation underneath the next I don't know why. Okay, so we see the last part. It's really what you are good at and what you're not, or, or what is okay for you that you mind you don't mind doing. So think about what's something you're not good at. Fine, fine. Manualidades. Handcrafts. Handcrafts. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, well, if there are no questions about that, what we're going to do is we're remember it. It's all about how you speak, not only the answers, but how you speak. So in this moment, we're going to make a few groups, okay? And tell them. Imagine you, you are trying to learn to improve your speaking or telling your partner. Tell them, how can you do it? What can we use? So for example, I love my high school... Uh, Teacher, because, and then whatever it is that you want to describe. It's clear for everybody? How many sentences, teacher? Only a few sentences, only a few moments to, to do it. Let's say three minutes between you and your partner. And then you. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, guys. Any questions making those sentences? Teacher, we didn't understand you about the sentences. Uh, I, I asked to my uh, classmates. And okay. They okay. Didn't understand. Okay, no problem. No problem. Let's take a look here one more time. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. At math and science. Okay. So when we're talking about is really all we're trying to do is when we're talking about our sentences is just what are we talking about our jobs, right? So what do you like about your job? What you don't like about your job? What you need to do your job? What is important for your job? And that's what we're doing. We're just making those sentences to describe the situation. Sentences and say them out loud. Watch. Here, for example, we have two parts. It says, I'm not very good at, and I don't mind. I'm not very good at, it means that you, you don't have the ability or it's difficult for you. I don't mind is that for you, it's not important. It's anything. So for example, me, I don't mind working at night. That means for me, it's okay. It doesn't mind, I, I, it doesn't bother me. But if I say, ah, I'm not very good at, for example, I'm not very good at speaking Chinese. I'm not good, I, it's not my ability. That's the idea. Now for our job, okay. In our job, I don't mind, it. and then you put your thing, I don't mind writing reports. I don't mind going to early. Yes, I see, Mirna, you're not in the WhatsApp group. Ah, you, you need to add yourself. This is from your, the first email that they sent from Inglés Corporativo. Mm -hmm. So you need to go back to the first email and click. Mm -hmm. No problem. It's okay. It's typical. We don't read the emails. Only we look for the class and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's, let's try together the easy way. All right. So let's start the first part here. Let's make sentences with I'm not very good at and sentences with don't mind. Let's begin with those. Okay. So tell me something you're not very good at. I'm not very good at uh, speaking English. Exactly. <laughs> in, in this case, in this case. <laughs> good example. Not real. But... Neither am I. Now. I know see... teacher. Yes. Neither me. am I. Me teacher. Okay. I'm not very good for cooking. Ah, try. Okay. Try again. Try it again. Remember. We need to use the gerunds because when you use these expressions, you use the gerunds. Uh, when we use these sentences, we don't use two or four. No, you do not. No two and no. We don't. So the, for, for example, like cooking, but no like to cooking. It's only like cooking. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. So, like to cook is the another. Be, that, like to cook. Or, that's know. a different sentence. But yes, for example, yes. we have the expression, I'm not very good at. So I'm not very good at cooking. And yeah. then, for example, cooking lasagna or cooking pizza or to be mm -hmm. more specific. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This is a good uh, uh, sentence. I don't mind. My... Cooking. That is the correct way, exactly, because it's with the gerund. When you make the sentence, you use ing. Okay. Sure. Yes. An, exa an example. Uh, I'm not good at teaching math. Exactly. That is correct. But ing. But I don't. I don't mind explain history. Uh, no. Remember ing. Explaining. 
Exactly. Explain. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, for example, I'm good at um, working very hard. Exactly. It's That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Teacher, yes, before, I, am, I, I am not, I am not very good making hand clasps. So so, I'm not very good at yeah. at uh, making mm -hmm. what's yes. doing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not very good at lying. Lying. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's mm -hmm. correct. I'm not very good at. Uh, talk, talking. Yes, with ing, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brenda, give me an example. And I'm very good at painting. Oh, ah, okay. Now something you don't mind, Brenda. What's something you don't mind? I not. <laughs> okay, you think about it. You think about it. Don't worry. Ivania, give me an example. Um, I don't very good um recording and the date. I don't know. Mm, try again, Ivania. No, I don't very good. Look in the chat. That's how you begin the sentence. I one of those two sentences, Ivania. Two sentences. Yes, in the chat. Do you see the chat? I'm not very good at um. Ivania, do you need a verb yeah. ing? A verb with ing. I'm not very good at. Okay, let's. We can help. Don't worry, Ivania. You, you continue trying. We're gonna try to help you. Teacher, sorry. Um, is correct. I'm not very good. Uh, waking up early. Correct. That is correct. I'm not very good at waking up early. Yes. Uh, okay. 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 Rosa, give me an example. Mm, I'm not very, very good at, very good at uh, singing. Sing, sing, okay. sing, sing. Singing? Yes. Singing. Okay. Singing. Give me an example with yeah. I don't mind. I don't like, okay. I don't like. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind responding this question. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. It's correct. Yeah. Say I don't mind uh, dancing in a club. That's correct. It, correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't mind studying online. I don't mind uh -huh. working late, for example. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. mind working at home. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All of those are the things that we talk about with don't mind and I. So now we understand. Very good. Mind. That is the mm -hmm. idea. Because with gerunds depend the word that's Question you use. Okay. So listen for main ideas. Okay. Here we're going to listen to job hunting. So just listen and tell me what you understand. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. One, Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. 
I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. Three, Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Okay, so there's... Page 66. First one. Yeah. Exercise 5. Part. So, they're describing the, the different types of jobs they would like to have. What did you mm -hmm. feel would like to have? What kind of job? I attendant. So I attend. Yes. I attend. Like Starver. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. What about Shannon? What kind of job would Shannon like to have? Doctor. Doctor. Bookkeeper. Doctor. 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 Okay. Right. Doctor. <laughs> so, and what about Ben? What would Ben like? Mother. 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 Model, okay. Exactly. Yay. Those are the jobs. The model, yeah. the doctor, and the flight attendant. And then, yes. Mm -hmm. Good. All right, guys, we're going to pause right there. And then tomorrow we're going to continue talking and using gerunds and infinitives to talk about our jobs or other activities. Okay? Okay. All right, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.